Hi, this is Mr. Lozier, and I am going to show you guys how to set up your um, digital folders in Note Anytime. So basically, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use our iPad to go ahead and basically be our lab books and our notebooks for this year. Um, you're going to share your documents with me using Google Drive, and we will set that up together in class once you get to school in a couple weeks. But right now I just want you to go ahead and get familiar with the Note Anytime app. Just play with it, doodle, I don't, I don't really care. But you're going to set up some folders. Um, that way you're just ready to go and set things up uh, directly in Google Drive when school starts. So uh, this is Note Anytime. It's right here. Um, it's a free app and you can download it on the marketplace. There's a link to it in the iTunes account. So you're going to open it up. And when you open it up um, it will open you up to this root folder. So you see here your root. I also have a physics folder that I created. We're going to create an AP biology folder. So all you do is you long hold on root and you're going to do create folder. And we're going to call it uh, AP biology. I don't actually care what you call it um, as long as you know that it's your AP biology folder and all that you keep in there is AP biology because periodically during the year I will come through and kind of check out, you know, like, did you do this assignment? Did you do this assignment? And I don't want to have to be looking everywhere for it. So put it in a folder called AP Bio, please, um, or something similar. That's it. And then all we're going to do is within that folder, we're going to make a couple other folders. We're going to make um, one that is going to be called uh, Notes. bill, etc. And then we're going to do another one that is going to be uh, labs. And that's what we're going to start with for now. Okay, now the lab folder, we're going to have one lab book in here. So you could go ahead and you could actually, in your lab folder, you could create a folder. And you can select any of these um, that you want. I like this one right here that's the grid paper. I find that one the easiest for me to use. It's kind of totally up to you. I don't suggest that you do these, these square ones because they're kind of a pain in the butt. I like the ones that are, are like, you know portrait. Um, and you, you can turn it the other way. I mean, it, it'll go ahead and adjust. Anyway, so that's it. You're basically just going to make a folder. It's going to be called lab. If you want to change the title, you just go up here and you would just title it lab notebook. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to come up with your title page. And you would do that using graphics. Um, you could do that by changing the actual cover. Um, and so like let's say I wanted to add a page with paper uh, like this blank card paper you could do that or you could do it um, add a page with a model paper so that could be like that so let's use that now if you look down here if I click on this this number you see that my pages are out of order so let's say I want this green page to be my first page that actually is my lab notebook. There we go. I just drag it to the top and then I could go in here and I could type it as Miss D lab notebook. Now um, to make the font bigger you click on the over here, if you look, there's the text tool and there's a, a T with a plus on it. You just go ahead and you do that until it's the size that you want. And then you could drag it down wherever you want. I don't really care. I'm just playing so you can kind of see how it works. And then I would want to go ahead and change the color of that because the color of that's terrible. So let's say I wanted to change the color. I could go in here and let's make it white and let's make it really big and a felt marker. It's kind of up to you. 
however you want to do it. But you get the point. All right, so you're going to do that. You're going to make one that's your lab notebook. And then the other one that you're going to do is um, going to be your biology interactive learning log. But we're going to do that one in class together. So if, if you struggle with this, you'll be able to work on this together. The main thing I really want you to do is to get your folder set up. So you've got your AP Biology folder. So when you open into Root, you've got AP Biology. So like this, like this is just a sample assignment. Let's say that I want that in there. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight that move and I'm going to put it in there. And those are notes. So now I'm in and I want them in here. So I'm going to move, put it in AP Biology. Now I'm in there. And we're going to go ahead and just drag it in to there. So you got to to move it, you got to get it to turn red. So that's it. Um, go ahead, play with it a little bit. If you want to use a different note taking app, that's cool as long as it has the ability to, this is really important, it has to have the ability to go ahead and export to um, a PDF. So like here in this one, if I want to go ahead and export it to a PDF, I can do um, send to application, PDF, and I have the option of saving the whole thing as a PDF. And that's, that's really my only requirement is that you have the ability to save it to a PDF that you can then upload into Google Drive. Um, and if you're comfortable with the iPad and you want to use something else, that's up to you. If you're not comfortable with the iPad, you're going to want to use Note anytime.